Good morning. How's everyone doing? Hey, Monday morning. Another miserable morning here in Brisbane. Off, off. Got a bit of a bit of a meeting. Got some stuff on today, like all us workers do. You know, well, while the while the duds are in their bed sits and you know, looking looking jealous at other people. I thought it's going to be raining. There's going to be a bit of traffic. I probably got an hour and 15 minute drive before you know what let's jump on and let's have a chat eh he's a good i like doing this better to listen to the radio hope everyone had a good weekend it was an interesting weekend i probably because of the wet weather spent a little bit more time on youtube compared to what i normally would i don't know whether that's a good thing Jeez, there's some morons you know there's some there's some people that have no life. You know, we've got, got people that plan to meet other people and then, for one, I don't know who's at fault, but one claims one no-show, the other one says the other no-show. Just grab a set and meet each other. That's the thing with so much of this stuff. The people, and I'm not talking about them two blokes, but the people in, in this genre that are the most venomous and spiteful and and despicable with no as someone said to me yesterday with no morals and standards are the ones we never see or we never hear or sometimes we do hear them you know we never see their face they never travel you never meet them you know um you know i'm out there you've seen what i look like you've seen me you know when i was 40 kilos heavier see me now when i'm a little bit lighter um, you've seen me occasionally at my worst when I've been drunk, you know, away, and I don't hide anything. I'm not like any, you know, I'm not like that, you know, the, the bedsit dweller in Scotland, you know, who, who, who has the audacity, this fella, this dud, king dud or queen, has the audacity to take some sort of high mo- high high moral ground and call other people out but mate you got nothing you're the most despicable person in this genre some of the things that you've done so hope that sounds good i'm mean, gonna i'm just charging up the ear pods or I'll, I'll click over to them at some point but yeah i just don't get you know i'm sure when when google decided hey let's Let's come up with this thing called YouTubes. I'm sure they didn't want this shit. Sure this is what they, they wanted people vlogging and doing reaction videos and, and all cool stuff like that. Not not people, oh, oh, let's clip this. This is worth clipping. Oh, let's twist it. You know, let's edit that and make someone look like something they're not. You know, oh, someone's on holidays. Let's see if we can wreck their holiday. You know, that's what that's what this bloke does. He's done it to many people. Oh, I was just the first. You know, but what he's got to realise is people that save up, people that work, people that travel, YouTube isn't everything. They switch it off and they go and enjoy the whole day. That's what I did in 2022. That's what AP did last year. He switched it off and went and enjoyed his whole day. It's what's true. And by the sounds of things, it sounds that's what yours has done you know so all you're doing the people that do enjoy content do enjoy people traveling having fun this this bed sit dweller in in scotland he'll probably die soon because he's a beast and he smokes smokes like a, a chimney so he doesn't look after his health so he's obviously a very bitter and twisted man you know wants to bring other people down due to jealousy it's 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 mindless you know, I don't, when I do these streams, I don't like doing this stuff. I, I leave the, the hammering and duds to other people because they do it better than me. But I just couldn't let it rest, you know. And they they get something and they, they, they make a massive lie out of it and they want to attack people. Why? Why do they do it? And you've got to look a little, you've got to, you've got to unpack it and dig deeper. They're miserable in their own lives. They live a life that they're not happy. They don't work, so they've got a lot of time on their hands. 
feel lonely. They don't have partners. They don't have family. And the only thing that keeps there to take up their time is trying to bring other people down on social media. We, we shouldn't. We should feel sorry for them. We really should. You know, and I know there's, unfortunately now in this genre that used to be a Thai genre, but now it's a, I don't know what, what it fucking is, to be honest. Um, you know, there are sides, but, and I'd say there's shit people on both sides. It's just on one side, there's more. You know, on one side, there might be one, one or two. On on the other side of the fence, there's many. You know, and that's sad. It used to be great. We used to, at this time right now, Mick used to be on, Seven would be with him. Gut, as it, you know, every, all, all other fights are left at the door. And we used to just have fun. People that didn't like each other would be in a chat. There might be a bit of banner, a few little side digs, but it was, for the most part, friendly. That's never going to happen because of the likes of this bloke in Scotland, you know, and, and the great pretender, the pot washer, is, is trying, to, trying to rewrite the history and make a comeback. It's just not going to happen. So, you know what, there'll be probably more people doing what I do. I don't, I don't see myself a part of either side. I don't, you know, I'm a bit of a lone wolf. And I'll just stream when I want, edit and post my, my photo, my, my videos from my holiday when I want, and just do it, do it for what it is, a bit of fun. You know, when I, when I get down to, to Goldie and go and prepare for this meeting, I'll turn YouTube off and I won't be thinking about DW Donkey, you know. Why would I? Why would I want to think about a clown? Who sits on? Imagine scaring a twenty-minute video. A twenty-minute video to find two seconds of someone else. Like, nah, mate. Oh, I'm Stu, Stu Ennix, mate. It's um, called the seven in the morning, mate. I've been up since five. Of, I, I went out and in the wet and had a walk, and now I'm off to a meeting, mate. Sober as. To actually, be, to, to be honest with you, Stu, I haven't had drinks since I left Thailand on the um, I left Thailand on the 12th and I had my last drink with Steve the Butcher on the 11th of March. So I don't, I don't really drink much at home. To be honest, like, I, I don't mind having a drink. I've never, like, I'm a social drinker. If I go out on my friends, I, I'm not someone that will sit at home and, except for the COVID period, I won't just sit at home and have a drink, mate. Ne never been like that. I'm always been a, a social drinker. And as I've gotten older, mate, I don't really, I'm a lot more confident person. I don't really need alcohol. I don't mind it. I'll have a drink, but I don't need it. I guess that's a bit different to some people in this genre that, you know, are lonely and they need to have a drink. They need the Dutch courage to, to be, oh, I'll say what I think sober, mate. You know, there's nothing anyone on YouTube can do to me. You know, I'm not I'm not doing anything out of line. There's no one they can report me to. I'm not doing anything illegal. Unlike some, like, a, you know, stalking is illegal. And you know, that's what the little, the little monster from Scotland does. Hang on a second, I'll just get my coffee. But, yeah, hope you're a good shoe. I hope. I heard you met up with um you were there the night she had his phone went for a went for a walk. Bit of shenanigans there in the tail. But yeah, this this genre would be so much better if you know, everyone's looking for every little thing someone does. Oh it's like seriously, it's like going back forty two years ago feeding grade one. It's like a, it's like a conga line of dobbers. Oh, you did that. Oh, even even like poor old Jeff Lepard broke broke his doodle in an accident. Poor bloke, and everyone's looking for reasons not to believe him and say that he's e-begging. Like, 
why don't you just take the guy at face value? He was clearly in hospital. You can't fake that. You know, you can't go to Thailand and go, oh, can I pay to be in hospital to, to make it? You like, know, and everyone was on to him. Poor bloke, bloke broke his doodle. What a place to do that in Thailand. A place where you probably need it the most if you're on a single man side of the game. You know, but now nah, people want to go, oh, nah, nah. Always looking for an angle, always trying to two six. And you just got to, I used to take that all personally and, and take it to heart. And you just got to go on, you know what, stuff it. It's not about me, it's about them. You know, that's that's a sad thing. You got people that will never show their face, that will never come on a panel or only go on a panel they can control. From pot shots at, at real people, people that work, people that save, people that, you know, look at, Look at a bloke like Stu, mate. Like, I'm, and let's be honest, Stu and I have had our differences. I had to laugh yesterday. People were saying that he's easily manipulated. He's probably one of the most stubborn bastards in the genre. Okay, and and Stu and I, we're, we're in a good place. You wouldn't say we're mates, but we're in a good place, mate. He's obviously worked all his life. He's he's got some money there to go on a holiday, and people want to fucking. You know, clip and, and pick on him and talk shit about him. Why do they do that? Is it because he's a shit bloke? No, nah, because he, he probably isn't. He Actually, no, he definitely isn't, okay? And I can say that, like, despite the differences me and he have had, he's a nice fella. But they want to bring people in. They're jealous. you got people that have, you know, let, let's have a look. It's been, let's say the pandemic finished at the end of 2021. You know, you've got people that have, have been the time, you know, my old times. I've, I've been, I've been overseas now four times since the pandemic for probably about, you know, eight months in total. But where's DWP been? In his basement, you know, you got his mate that's faking being there. He's not there. He's not OBS. You know, you got Jorgen that's been to. He's been to Germany, he's been to Scotland, you know. But you've got this this real dirty, manipulative underbelly in this genre. They want to, you know, just bring people down. And again, it's not about the people they're trying to bring down. So it's not about, you know, when Jorgen's getting trolled. When Stu was getting trolled out there, it's not about you guys. Okay, you guys aren't the issue. It's that the people that are doing it are unhappy in their lives. It's that simple. That simple. You know, they have a sad existence. You know, and you find, I find sometimes that, and I shouldn't, I bring myself down to their level and, and jump on and, and say a few things like I might have yesterday. And that's where I've got to learn to be better. And just, not just just pity him, you know. Pity the likes of of that that crazy stalker in Scotland. He's an outcast. He's a misfit. He he's been a an imposter in his genre since probably June 20, 2022. He's come in. He's tried to get a following by attacking established people in the genre. You know, and some people think he's all right. And I'll be honest, there's some people that I get on really well with and I've met that thinks it's a good guy. And that, that's okay. I won't judge them on that. I don't judge them on how they are with me. But this guy is toxic. He's, you know, he fantasizes about a man's dog. He's obsessed, you know. And, and Capio and I, we've had our issues, you know. We're at peace now, but we've had issues. The, the man puts up, and I'll tell you, the man, so the man puts up shorts and that of his dog. Now, I'll tell you right now, on YouTube, that stuff trends. There's a bloke in America that's got two Roddies, and and he puts clips up all the time. That's his whole channel. He's based on his on his rot wheelers. And, you know, it come up when I, I sometimes am bored. You, you go through all the, the reels, the shorts, and it's good content. That boy's got 4,000 subs. I think more of it. I might be underselling him. But 
you know, a man's got a, well, they say man's best friend's their dog. So he, he, he's a bloke, a working fella, successful fella in Capio. Not, not everyone's cup of tea, I get that. You know, he, you, you go at him, he goes twice as hard. Fair play. But he, the bloke's just mind his own business putting up content of his dog. And you got this, this sicko in Scotland. And that's what he is. He's a sicko. You've got him cloning the dog, saying disgusting bestiality sort of stuff about the dog. Like, mate, I know you've got an ugly head. We've seen it now. Tim's put it up. Mate, you need to take a real good look at yourself. You're embarrassing yourself, DWP. You know, you've, you've made a, you've contributed nothing to this genre, mate. Nothing. All you've done is spread your filth. You filth your lies. You know, I don't, I don't really want to do drama on my channel, but I felt the need to call you out because you're disgusting, despicable human. We've all made, made mistakes on, on YouTube. You know, sometimes you get a bit drunk and you say something. You know, you have blue with someone, you know. And that you cling, you cling to that, but you don't look at, you don't cast the mirror up to your face. You know, because you're a disgusting, despicable human that has no place on social media. Because you're anti-social, fact. But anyway, I've just given him eighteen minutes. I think that's enough. What's everyone up to? Monday morning, typical Brisbane traffic, heading south, always the way. Um, I'll only be on until probably another 45 minutes just to go through the drive. I'm thinking where I should put the link up. Hang on. But yeah, maybe, maybe I should. I normally just I'm a bit a bit selfish. I want a long I might. I normally stream by myself. What I might do. Let's transfer over to the pods, because that sound will be better. Right.
Here we go, we're back. That's better. And I uh, always have issues with sound. But, um, yeah, I hope everyone had a good weekend. I know I did. Probably would have been better if I hadn't spent as much time on YouTube. Well, you get that. Um, give me 30 seconds, good people. No, there we go. We're back. It's bloody hard working off a phone, I tell you. But that's okay. What's everyone got planned? You know what? I'm gonna do something I haven't done for a while. I don't know if anyone will click it. I might get flashed. I'm gonna put the link here. Let's have a look. let's see if anyone is gonna come on. Like I said, it's only short, sharp. I will see. I will veto it. I don't want anyone to come on that. Who I don't. Who I wouldn't. You know what? My rule would be: if I wouldn't meet you in a pub, you ain't coming on. Yeah, you know, and there's not many people. And that, you know what? That's something. You know, you talk to people. Half these fights are going on YouTube. I reckon ninety percent of the people, ninety percent, because there are ten percent of scumbags. 90% of people would actually, if they met in a pub, they would just talk talk it out, and I reckon by the end of it, they'd be having beers and laughing. You know, that's that's where you got this the thing of anti-social media. You know, that's, you know, we're all different. We're not all going to get along. That's just how you know, it is. And, you know, I think you stick to your people you like, you know, and there's... I know who they are for me, and for the most part, try to avoid avoid the duds. You know, a bit, a bit slow this morning. Like I'm not really a numbers kind of guy, but ten in the chat. It's still about, you know, six more than what DWP gets. You know, I don't, I haven't, it's not like I've prepared anything. You know, I just come on for a bit of a rant, a bit of a chat. It's pretty funny, but there's not there's not that many people chatting. I think because um last Tuesday we had to um I think we hit thirty troll accounts. So it's pretty funny. And that's what they do, and and maybe that's where Google should be better. Should put some sort of you know oh, there's blokes out there. I won't name names besides DWP, but there's other blokes. They've got a hundred alt accounts. There, there's one stream. Where some, they go live, and the majority of chats old accounts, and maybe that's where Google needs to do better. You know, put a credit card. You know, you've got to have an account. You got to put a credit card number or all that. You know, you got a main channel. You can have three other channels. It would definitely slow it down because you you'll be how quickly they come up. And when you when you have them in your band list, you go into your your community settings. They're always changing their name. So, you know, this this day DWP might be attacking me, so they might be all about me. And next week it might be, you know, he might turn on Gazza like he turned on Timmy. And um, they'll all be about Gaz. That's just how it works. You know? I don't know what I dislike more. DWP or this traffic. It's pretty ordinary. Wet weather, Monday morning. You know, but the duds wouldn't understand that. They don't 
they don't work, so they wouldn't know what the Monday morning commute's like. You know, it's it's tough. But you do it. No, for me, it's eyes on the prize. It's it's about accumulating, you know, money. So, and also at the same time, <laughs> g'day Bobby, Bobby Crush. I don't know if that's a fake Bobby Crush. Um, but yeah, for me, it's about not just getting, you know, money to live on and for my next trip. It's about now, it's about, you know, setting up passive passive income streams. So, you know, 6, 12, 18 months, if I'm not living there, I'm spending six months in the south of Thailand, you know. And I've, I've had to think about that, how what that would look like because I don't want to be drinking every day. So I need to be having something to do. I don't want to, you know, I won't be going there until I hit my goal weight. Um, so I don't want to get this high and then just, you know, be a sloth and drink and eat and put it all back on, you know. The idea is to to prolong my life, not not shorten it. So, you know, you that's stuff I've had to think about. What? What's my day is going to look like? You know, I think a lot of people, they just go, oh, I want to retire in Thailand, live the dream, wanna, you know, and don't really give it much thought what you're going to do. Whereas for me, you know, I know what my day, or how I want my day to look like. And, you know, yeah, I've got a lot of friends over there and, you know, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't be wanting to move over there if I didn't. But, you know, is my day going to be, around you know fitness work you know going to gym walking sightseeing you know and then also spending time on these passive you know these passive income streams will need a little bit of love so they'll stay predominantly passive the last thing i want to do is come back to australia broke with my tail between my legs you know be and for it not to work so, you know, and there's a couple not bars because I'm not going to touch a bar as far as bar ownership. It's because they're like assholes. Everyone's got one. But I do have a couple of um, business opportunities and I've got a very good, without going into details because you can't on YouTube, I've got a very good Thai friend who I've known for a long time. Um, and we've kind of we've looked at a business idea that we're that we'll do. So that that's something that you know I'll be in the background. She'll she'll run the operations. So that that's all in the planning stages as well. That may kick off before I move there. We'll just have to see. But you know, and to have some time to actually when I when I live there to actually for no other reason. Not for money, but but for my own enjoyment to actually create, put some put some vlogs up, you know, plan them, end them, you know, and just have some fun. What's Bobby saying? Is it true your next job is at a? I can't just read that. A boss on a cruise ship? No, nah, mate. Not today. I'll give you. Yeah, I'll give you a bit of. Money. No, nah, Bobby, not doing that. Is it true your next job's going to be running the water for St. Helens? How are they going anyway? I haven't really followed the um, Super League that much this year. What are your thoughts, Bobby, on the NRL buying out the Super League comp? It looks like it's going to happen. Could be a good thing for a game, and they're, gonna, they're looking at a 10-team American NRL. I'm the sponge man. The old sponge, they've retired that. You know why, actually, and we're going to bore people talking about rugby league here, Bobby. You know why they um got rid of the, the magic sponge in Australia in rugby league? Wayne Pierce, you'd remember him. He got hepatitis B because of the magic sponge. Oh, yeah. Funny, but they used to, apparently they used to, they drink the water and all that stuff. Back in the 70s and 80s, it was a different world, eh? It really was. But, yeah, you know, like, going back to it, it's, it's something that 
I want to do, but I want to do it right. Moving, you know, moving to Asia. Because I don't, it would be so easy to be a pisshead over there. And, and what I kind of learned from my big trip when I was there in, like, away in 2022, it's just not, when you drink every day, it doesn't become fun. It's, it stops being fun, you know? It's probably saying, I can barely read them. My eyes are cooked. In the old days, if you got injured, they pour cold water on it. Yeah, they stretch you off. Yeah. And well, the other thing now, I don't know how, if it's as bad over there, but you get them, you get them lying down to get the penalty, which I hate. I think if you lie down to get a penalty, you've been hit in the head, you should have to go off for an HIA assessment. But yeah, you know. It's becoming, over here, it's becoming like soccer, Bobby. They take a dive for a penalty. I watched the game yesterday and, fuck, I hate Parramatta. And all they do, all game, they're like whinging to the ref for penalties. They stay down. And it was an inexperienced ref and he fell for it. Turned the game. But, yeah, you know, that's, I guess that's the world we live in now, professional sport now. Uh, everyone cares about head injuries and, and all that sort of stuff, and you know, with CTE, you know, was, they're going to take advantage of it. You know, I guess they've just been doing it in soccer for a lot longer, or football, I want to call it that. But yeah, you know, it's just yeah. To, well, over here, like it's not. I guess it's not as much as like the the English football, but you know, you got. Now, with, with the salary caps over 11 million, you've got multiple blokes that are on, you know, more than a million bucks. You know, you got in some clubs, you've got two or three players on a million bucks taking up a third of the salary cap, you know? Big dollars, all, all TV, and it's only going to get, the bloke that we've got in charge over here, it's only going to be more, you know, because he's trying to tap into the, the US gambling dollar, which is smart. So, but yeah, you know, here's what it is. And, you know, that's the other thing I love about, you know, Thailand, the world's so connected. I often wonder, you know, because I do love my sport, love me, love me rugby league, my cricket, you know, well, and I don't watch any, I watch a bit of American sports. What it would have been like going to Thailand before the internet, like before, you know, I've had friends that used to go in 96 and, before they were streaming, how did how did people watch sports? How did, how did these sports bars go? Because pretty much, you can watch any. You can go in there. I've got a mate that owns a bar. I was talking to him. They can get all the NRL. They can get every – there's some something they pay for. They get every single – you know, they get all your Sky Sports in England. They get ESPN. They get Australian Fox Sports. They get US Fox Sports. It's just, you know, that's the thing. You don't, you know, I don't know when I'm over there, I'm still connected to to what's going on. I'm sure, <clears throat> I'm sure the English lads, you know, I know Premier League's massive over there. The time difference, I, I always get, if I have a, especially my big trip, um, I get more into the Premier League because it's a better time. Just that three hours difference. It's great. Like I, when I was in Chiang Mai for a month, my sad day, my sad day would be I would have had a big Friday night. I'd wake up about 12. I'd go down to, to one sports bar. We'd watch, there'd be a group of us. We'd watch the three NRL games, super sad day. By the time the last NRL game finished, you had the, um, the EPL, the, the match of the day, the, the, the one that starts at midday in England. So that'd kick off around six o'clock in Thailand. You'd watch that, you go somewhere and watch that. And then at nine o'clock, you have all the games and they're all into it. And that atmosphere is great. So Saturday was like a big day of sport. You know, you'd be there with, you know, we met a lot of people and you'd, you'd meet, you know, you'd have your little core group of people that would be at the bar and then other people would come in. It was, it was really good. Even, you know, when I'm in Phuket, Kangaroo, which isn't a sports bar; it's just a just a drinking bar. You know, they're all they're all soccer fanatics. Um, sorry, football. 
and everyone's in there. They've got them on the, they've got the music on, but they've got on the big screens. They've got the, you know, whichever matches on them. It's great. I, I think I'd become more of a, more of a Premier League fan living over there. I'd follow it a lot closer. You know, um, just for that time difference, like it's too hard here. You know, you've got, I remember when I used to stream on Saturday nights and we used to, you know, back when we were all still, everyone was all friends, you know, me and BT would be on, um, Capio would come on, you know, we even had Gaza on at some, at some point. We'd sit there and we'd probably talk rugby league for a bit, you know. And then as it got later, the Pommies would come on, generally 9 o'clock, Brisbane time, the, the, your match of the day, your 12 o'clock game would come on and I'd have that on and we'd, we'd talk about that. But then, you know, it gets to 11 o'clock when the, for us in Australia, it's like, nah, I'm cooked, I'm going to bed. I'm an early riser. But, you know, that was, I know it used to be fun. We used to, you know, Saturday nights used to be great. You know, you'd have three, three different streams. You'd have Talk Back Thailand be on for, for, their, for their people. I'd be on. And then occasionally um, My Two Bar would be on. And I guess I, it was nothing, it was no agreement. But if My Two Bar was live, I wouldn't stream. Or I'd stream when he finished. Just out of respect for the man. You know, um, it just used to be so much fun. And I was going to bring it back and BT was keen, but you just there's too much fighting. I'd rather just do this. And, you know, BT was, you know, he was really, no, he, he hasn't done anything to DWP except exposed him for his lie about going to, to Bangkok, you know, the old KFC on Soy 4, which is bloody hilarious. There used to be a McDonald's on the corner of Soy 4 before COVID, but now there's just a server on a 7-Eleven. You know, so this is pretty funny. So, yeah, we just, we, we, we talked to them. We said, well, you know what? Just fuck it. Just don't do it. Not worth it. You know, which is sad because we used to have fun. We used to have great numbers too. Like, you know, that's where my channel really grew. We, we, we would get 40. And we used to have, we used to have all the, you know, I remember a stream we had Tom was on there. We even had Barry on there at one point. That was before I kind of distanced myself from Barry when um he said that stuff about chocolate man's wife. Um, but yeah, Ben would come on. I think we even had Ricky on there at one point, Ricky Drama. And it was good. Just everyone come on. We used to talk, you know, respectfully. We'd talk shit. There used to be, you know, Man About Oz would come on and sometimes he'd be drunken Man About Oz. No, it just, it was fun. But I just, one, I don't have the time for it. And two, it's just, it's a bit nasty in here. You know, instead of people just staying away from people like, oh, like, it's gone nasty. Um, you know, and it's all, it's all competition. You know, oh, you know, this one's buying subs, this one's, and it's like, fucking just let, just let people go. Let people do what they want. People want to have super chats, let them have it. And I'll be honest, the only reason mine's there, I don't, I don't get any. I just put it because people said I couldn't get monetized. You know, that's that's one thing I do laugh. Like, so what I do with my um settings is that unless someone's a moderator on my channel, everyone else has to, I have to approve the comments. Okay, so that's just to stop people from putting out you know, shit that I don't want out there, which is, that's my prerogative, my channel. Um, but you do, you get some funny ones, you get some people that, that troll you and then they'll, they'll watch your content and then they'll tell you how shit you are and it's just like, oh, laugh. that's all right. And when the, when the same person does it multiple times, that's what I find funny because if you think of my content, shit, just don't come back. But they keep doing it and what they don't realise is you know, unless they've got YouTube Premium to watch the content, they've got to they've got to watch the ads, which then gives me a little bit of money. You know, so they're actually they are hate views, but you know, and we're talking pocket money. I think, I think at the moment I'm on I'm on ten for this 
for this period, I'm on 10 US bucks. You know, I think I got a small super chat in Thailand from TJ. The rest has all been off views because, my, you know, my, my shorts get views. Some of my bigger videos get views. You know, but I'm never going to make money off this. It's just shits and gigs. And for me, the reason I keep it, I keep it monetized is just because people said I couldn't do it. You know, when people say I can't do something, I do it. You know, DWP when I was in when I was in Thailand said don't don't go live, so I went live. He's just like Sean the Gimp. That's a bit harsh. Now I said everyone we've had Sean the Prawn, Sean the Lobster, Sean the Sheep. Now we got Sean the Gimp. I hope that's not. I can't see that photo, but I would request if that's doxing someone's face, get rid of it. Um. If any of my mods can see that, if it's if that stocks in someone, fuck it off. If it's just some random, that's okay. I give you the benefit of the doubt, Sean the Gimp, on this occasion. Even that. Hey, Fraggle. I was, well, your ears burning. I was talking about you. Here he is. So, do you want to check that Sean the Gimp photo? If that's doxing someone, get rid of it. If it's not, we give you the benefit of the doubt. I always laugh when you hear Gimp. It reminds me of Pulp Fiction. Bring out the Gimp. So, yeah, we're just, we're just shooting the shit, BT. Um, I started the stream. I, I went pretty hard on DWP. You know that he's a, a moron, you know. I did. I, I know. I know. We met up in Bangkok, BT, but um, pineapple head, or I get you know, BT's easy to say. Um, I didn't see that. Um, the KFC mate on on Nana. I think it's gone, or was it over there? You know, it's pretty funny. I was actually thinking about that. The only KFC really in that supermarket area that I can think of is in Terminal Twenty One. Okay, too easy. Let it, it's all good. Then you can stay. But yeah, that's in that whole Sukhumvit area. Off the top of my head, the only KFC I can think of is in Terminal Twenty One. But really, there's no like I like tires like KFC, but there's no need for a Westerner. There's no need for KFC in Thailand. The, the local Thai fried chicken you get off the street carts is is way superior. And if you go to the right one, you can taste the MSG in it. It's brilliant. The magic white powder. Yeah. There you go. It's not a doxing channel, Sean the Gimp. There's no we we won't have anyone here. We do our best to get rid of anyone that doxes. You know, whether it's in the in their name or the photo. If we're aware of it, we get rid of it. You know? Other channels don't, but we do. But yeah, so I'm probably, I've got about another 10 minutes. And then I've got to go and jump out and might give the mullet a bit of a brush and go on this meeting. How would you be? I wonder if we actually, I'll be a bit controversial. I wonder if, you know, you think about all these blokes that have been around in the chat that we've never seen. I wonder what they really look like. You know, I wonder, we wonder if we could like, you know, if they're, and I'm going to get in trouble with BT for this first thing. If they're bald, fat, middle-aged men, 50s, 60s. That's what I said in patio. I felt like I was, I had too much hair. I was too young and I was not fat enough. Oh, Sean the Gimp, he's a troll. Have I ever doxed anyone? I'll dox you if you don't shut up, Sean the Gimp. How's that?
Sean, Sean, pro, like, Sean the Sheep, he's all right. You know, he's, he travels. You know, for a long time, I, I didn't think he traveled, but he does. He's proved it. He met in that monster. I don't think he flew in the, I don't think he flew in the Superbit airport about this time. But, you know, Sean's okay. He, he, I think he likes to stir the pot, but that's all right. You're allowed to. Stirring the pot for a bit of bands is okay. It's when people get nasty. You know? There's no, that's what there's no need for. <clears throat> oh, I'm over this. This should have been, you know, you're going to think I was halfway in this drive and I, I fired the stream up, pulled over a set of lights. Sean the Prawn. He's, he's the OG, Sean the Prawn. He was the one that was on um, um Bottle Job. I'm going to give you two minutes to remove that photo, mate. If that's who I think it is, yep, I don't like that bloke, but I don't want his photo. So it's now 7.25. If you haven't got rid of that photo by 7.27, I'm removing it. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Mate, I'm going to delete your comments. I'm not going to hide you, but get rid of that photo, brother. You're welcome here. Okay. Most people are welcome here. Now I don't I'm not a fan of that bloke that you post you're posting the photos up, but I'm not gonna have him his photo doxed here. Even though we know who he is and he probably did it he'd probably do it to me. But as a nah, nah man. As they say in China, two wongs don't make a right. You're welcome here. If I just get rid of that photo. Even people I don't like, I don't want their photos docs when they're not here to defend themselves. And he, he can't come in to defend himself. He's been. There we go. Fucking more traffic. So yeah, like this, this, this will stay up. I haven't said anything. I'm, I might have dropped a couple of f bombs. I haven't sheep sheep dog. Oh jeez. You know I haven't said anything that's gonna incriminate myself. I've dropped a few f bombs. I haven't dropped any c bombs because obviously I'm sober. If I was drunk, it'd be a different thing. But you know, I got nothing to hide. I'll leave these streams up. They get they get good views. You get more people watching them afterwards because they go through all. Has he said anything I can clip? Can I clip this? Can I clip this? You know? I hope that's not Loma. Why? No one's bought DWP. Al, okay, Al, let's let's address it, Al. Call me Al. You can call me Al. Why all the bullying of DWP? There's no bullying of DWP. DWP is the bully. Dude, no, bro, Under Armour coward, change your photo. Not having it. Okay, you can have the username, but not the photo. Um, he's the bully, mate. He's the one. Anyone that travels, he bullies. Look what he did to AP. Okay, and him and AP were buddies at that point. They. They got on okay before that, absolutely for no reason. Got stuck in the AP and and clipped him, tried to make him look bad. Okay, he's the bully. He's the one that that spends twenty hours a day. He he clipped me. Okay, there's a bloke that I I appeared in two seconds in a bloke's video, David Strachan. Okay, he he decides to make a video about that and tries that he puts it on Dropbox. Okay, blames people, blames B, tried to blame BT, tried, tried to blame Stu, said Stu took it and sent it to him. All this bullshit. And why does he do it? Because he hasn't been anywhere. He's never left Edinburgh, which from all accounts is a shithole full of junkies. One less, apparently. You know? 
So he's the bully, Al. You know what I mean? But I'll stand up to bullies. You know, I'm not the only one that will, that does that. So I hope that answers your question. Yeah, you ask her respectfully. I appreciate that, Al. Any comment? Oh, yeah, I will. Um, Nick, I, my experience with Nick has always been really positive. I actually had a night out when I was in patio. I didn't have many nights out with Nick. Nick's a good fella, okay? Nick cops because pe- people don't, people, trolls in this genre don't like a couple of people who are also friendly with, with Nick. Nick gets trolled and he shouldn't. He's just a, he's a content creator and a businessman in Thailand. And he's a very decent bloke, okay? Um, I don't go to Soy 7 a lot. I prefer other parts, but every time I do go to Soy 7, I go to his bars and I catch up with him. Mate, you're gone. See you later. Not having that shit. No, you don't. You don't defame people in my chat, mate. Get out. Okay? Nick is a... I, I, don't, I don't know Brian Flowers. They, I think they both get trolled on here because of who they're friends with. Okay? don't. I've never met Brian. I have met Nick. I met Nick before he had his bars. Okay? Top bloke. He's got, he likes to call me Chumley. That's my new nickname, and I'll, I'll take it. You know? But I had a great night. I had a... I had a night with zombie with a with a mate of mine who who works for Nick. Um, Nick, Dan, Dan, the cameraman, top fella, and um, the manager of zombies. It was a great night. I had fun. We drank, we talked. It was quite busy. So yeah, Bobby, I know you. I know you have an issue with him. I, you know, you're more than welcome to say. Just don't talk shit about him. Mate, fuck off. Not gonna go, go make another old account, okay? Not into it. I'm not gonna have people defamed and shit. You know, and this, this is this is everything that's wrong with this genre. You know, people can come in. Bobby's asked the question. Bobby's done it respectful. I know where Bobby's coming from, so I've answered it my way and my opinion. But then you get all these other. You know, under endowed, faceless fools. You know, they think because I don't like the bloke in the photo that I'm going to let them stay. It doesn't happen. Yeah, get out. Get out. It's good. I'll just, I don't care. I'm, I'm finishing in five minutes. I'll just keep, you know, you can keep making your fake accounts and I'll keep deleting them. You know, I'm not going to. Mate, okay, so Alan, yeah, Cambo, why do you go to Patio, the place where ladies are treated like me? Well, I don't treat them like meat, and I don't, like, let's look at it. My trip was three and a half weeks. I spent five days there, and I spent three of those five days in bed because I wasn't well. Mate. Go away, that far. Mate, it's all about it. I'm actually going to do, I've, I've been preparing a video about it. Patty is probably really cheap. Like, I, I compare that to, um, you know, Phuket, which is my go-to, right? I love Phuket, and that's where I'm going to live. Okay, but Patty, well, I'll give you an example, motorbike taxis. 50 baht compared to 100 baht in Phuket, right? Straight off. Food, so much. Help. I can see the appeal why people go there. It's a lot. You want a cheap holiday, you go pay. Even, even my hotel, right? My hotel was, it was probably cheaper than the whole three. Go away. No. You're just going to keep making it. Okay, my hotel, I stayed at this Centra. Avenue Resort. It's right near the new Las Vegas beer, ga- um, beer garden is going to be, right? Near Metro. It's It was so cheap, and it was the best hotel of my trip. The bed was nice. 
it was very modern. Everything you turn the lights off, you know, you had everything was, uh, you know, modern. Um, it is. It's cheaper. Yeah, but you've got that. And I'll be, I'll be honest, and people can say, oh, I didn't bar on anyone when I was in Patea because I wasn't well. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm a goody two shoes. I I wasn't well, and you can you can ask. You know, if Steve the butcher's in the chat, you can ask him. Because I come out my last night to see him to meet him. I had two drinks and I was on the, I was on the cokes and the soda waters. Okay. Okay, Al. So look, and you're being respectful. Cambo DWP only quips you and calls you out because you go to sick places like Paya. Has he ever quipped you not? Well, mate. Let's be honest. If you look at my traveling, I reckon if you my whole travel, you looked at it as a percentage, Patea is probably about my my travel since COVID, not even ten percent, right? And you look at look at what he quit me. I was sitting in a bar a night when I wasn't feeling well. I was sitting there with someone that I'd known for a little while. I'd known that lady since 2018. So I will let me get rid of that one. Anyone that I'm not sure about. So mate. That's bullshit. Um, DWP edited the clip about me in Vietnam. Don't want to go into that again, but that clip is, 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 and I've got the proof. I've got a stat deck for the equivalent of a stat deck from the owner of that bar. So I'm not going to, I'm not going to revisit that, but DWP is a sick, twisted, bitter little coward. Has no place in this genre. So I hope that answers the question. Let's give me a second. Oh, fuck, let's go there. Okay, but you're asking, you're asking these questions respectfully. I'll answer them. You're not being a dickhead yet, so I answer them. But yeah, that's. Hope that um answers it for you. You know, DWP comes in like look at it. He he he's attacked BT, and the only thing BT ever did was call him out. And they called out his lies and, and proved him to be a liar. So he can't he can't handle that. You know, to ask what what did what did AP ever do to him? What did someone like Stu ever do to him? You know, even you know, I know for a fact, and I'm not gonna that one of the people he attacks the most when he first came in the genre was supporting him and talking to him behind the scenes about how he could best make his time in YouTube. And what did he do? To get, to get clout, which I hate that word, but to get to get some recognition, to get to get the duds on side, what did he do? He attacks that person. He's just a sneaky individual, mate. He has no place in this genre. Okay? He's never been to Thailand. You know, and I mentioned this, I, I actually went on stews. Just wanted to make a make an observation i'll repeat it here mate okay before i go on living the dream i don't know who that is but well I've, I've shown heaps of proof i've shown proof on what the the uk police said beach's name was there's heaps you know but so yeah you, you bark up the wrong tree there um you can stay it i don't think you're docking but yeah, let's 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 talk about it for a minute. I'm gonna wrap this stream up in two minutes. Um, yeah, just spin your rhetoric somewhere else, mate. You can stay. You're not being you're not being rude, but you're wrong. Um, what what are these people? The faceless people in the chat. They all seem to talk about. They know all about. You know, they're patia experts, and I ring about patia. Why are they experts on Wahin? Why aren't there experts on Koh Samui? Why aren't there experts on Chiang Mai or Bangkok or Phuket? And the answer is very simple. They're experts on Patia because it's the most vlogged, it's the most IRL. Okay? That's why. They're, they're TV experts, armchair experts. They've never been to Thailand, but they, they, can, they think they can fake it because they've watched vlogs, they've watched IRLs, you know. DWP's never left Edinburgh. Mike Chef isn't in, in Thailand. He's used other people's content. We know that. 
mate, uh, living the dream, right? Let's 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 well release proof, then people will know you aren't lying. It makes the compu- the community think you're full of us. Mate, do you want to know how many fucks I give about what these faceless people think of me? Zero. Exactly zero fucks I give. Okay? If I haven't seen your face I ha- or I haven't spoken to your voice, you're irrelevant. You can sit in my chat and talk and I'll be respectful, okay? But I don't care what you think. The days of me thinking, and it's not a community. A community holds people to account. This is not a community. It's a collective. If it was a community, people a long time ago would have called out the likes of Mike Chef. They would have called out the likes of EWP. It's not a community because, as, as it was said to me yesterday, there's too many people in this, in this shit show that hide in a chat that have no morals and have no standards. And you're probably one of them, mate, if I'm being honest. Because we know living the dream isn't your real username you know and mate i've been fair to you but you know what come back under your real username there you go okay and that, that's that's sadly where it's at you know the, the days of me caring about what people faceless people in this genre think this genre is so small if if we had thousands of people watching videos and stuff like that well, maybe I might care, but we don't. Most of these channels, look at DWP's channels. He's flat out, unless he pays for bots, he's flat out getting five people in the chat, and a video will stay up and it might get a hundred views. Okay, so you don't, I don't care. It's like, and I'll make this is the only time I'll mention it because if I don't mention it, hopefully at one point you'll go, like, even 365, right? He can say, that person can say what he wants about me because I know he doesn't keep it up. And I know there's such limited people watching. You know, he can have his laugh. I know, I know him well enough to know what his game's about and he knows me well enough to know the way I play the game. Okay? And I know I don't, I don't care what he says about me because I know it never stays up. You know, so when you, when you stop caring and you turn it off like I'm about to turn this off in in two minutes, I walk away and I don't think about YouTube. The only time between I'll, I'll think about YouTube is if, like, you know, I've got a small handful of buddies from YouTube. If they message me, they message me online or if they message me. Okay. Alan goes, Cambo, please answer, just answer this question before you leave. Is it against Scottish law for DWP to equip you or call you out? Um, no, but there's such a thing as stalking. Yep. Okay, and that's what he does. How, how can you... How can how does someone watch... You think about it, like, I don't have the time to watch... I didn't even know who David Strachan is. How do you watch a 20-minute video to see who you can find who's in... In there, you know, that's he's a stalker. He stalks, he stalks Capio, he stalks Stu, he stalks me, he stalked AP. You know, the guy's a stalker. Okay, and I tell you where he has broken, broken law. He he constantly defames me, and what he's got to realize is I have the funds. It's just for me. Do I want to spend them on something like that, or do I want to get to Thailand? Okay. All I have to do to, to have anyone for defamation or slander in the UK is have a proxy. I've got about four people who will be a proxy, okay? He's defaming me. I've got clips of it. I've got, I've, got, oh, I've got clips because I've got it, and I haven't put them out. I've kept them for my own reference. I've got clips of him calling me a certain thing. I've got clips of him lying about something that never happened. All I need is a, UK, a proxy in the UK, which I have. But do I want to spend that money on someone as irrelevant as him? So I hope that answers your question. At that point, good people, I'm out of here. It's been interesting. We've had, you know, I, I, I'll give people freedom of speech. You know, I'll answer questions. But, you know, if you're going to come here and dox, it's not on. On that note, 
have a good day. Remember, stay active and just be nice. So much easier to be nice to people and ignore, you know. If we all took a stand and, you know, ignored and, and outcasted these scumbags, the genre might just be good again. On that note, guys, thank you for watching. I'll keep this up. I've got nothing to hide. See you.